Today, we are going to talk about one of the greatest natural catastrophes that impacted Honduras. Hurricane Mitch struck Central America in late October 1988, leaving more than 20,000 dead, destroying hundreds of thousands of homes, and causing more than $5 billion in damages. It was the deadliest hurricane to hit the Western Hemisphere in more than 200 years. Hurricane Mitch began as a tropical depression on, on October 22, 1998, and by October 26, had intensified into a Category 5 hurricane. Hurricane Mitch, one of the most violent of the century, struck northeastern Honduras on October 26. More than a billion were left homeless in underdeveloped Honduras, the second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. In Honduras, floods and mudslides brought on by heavy rainfall washed away entire villages, and the majority of the country's crop and infrastructure were destroyed causing a lethal disruption to the economy. The terrible hurricane left a balance of almost 1,500,000 victims, among them 5,657 dead, 8,058 missing, 12,272 injured, and 285,000 people who lost their home. This equally unpredictable storm unleashed torrential rains graded for five consecutive days, which led to the massive overflow of rivers and caused severe flows in the 18 departments of the country, affecting in particular the entire Atlantic coast, the central zone, including Tegucigalpa, the capital of Honduras, and the southern zone. Also, after Mitch, a 20% increase in diarrhea cases was reported in under 15 years. Until the end of the year 1998, approximately, there are 50,000 cases of acute diarrhea, more than that registered in 1997. Likewise, a total of 306 cases of cholera were reported in 1998, a low of 10. Only three clinical epidemiological causes were registered after the hurricane. The top five causes of morbidity from hurricane were respiratory infection, acute diarrheal diseases, dermatological infection, conjunctivitis, and bronchial asthma. Honduras faced a great natural catastrophe which marked the history of this country.